turn 8, it's probably the turning point of this match against Eskild uh, in the PBM tournament 2015. So I just destroyed uh, his main stack, uh, but at this during this turn I had two reloads because of crashes uh, during tactical combats. So I provided uh, screenshots to the judges, uh, Fist and Antilus and Marky Mark. Um, screenshots and also some videos and so they agreed that there was um, no issue but it's really a big big issue for me because uh, I have these crashes just just during the turn uh, which is the most important of the, of the of the game but you will see that I had very little chance to lose so a skill stack was here in this area uh, three stacks I don't know why he came here because I was I was like there and I had in one turn I could reach him and I had this gold mine, uh, this uh, ancient rune, and uh, this um, tavern <coughs> to um, to this inn to uh, take to refuel, kind of to take some ghouls and attack him. So it was a very very bad move from him to 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 go there and not attack the inn, especially. And then his second army is there. I, I saw it because I had this. Um, this little uh, cheetah that you may remember it was here and I came back to see where he was because um, during the last turn he attacked me um, so he attacked independence and I saw him and then he attacked independence again and I saw him again uh, no sorry not this one I made a mistake this, this one he attacked independent again and then he attacked me um, so of course I saw it also uh, my two eagle riders and it converted one um, he reanimated one and uh, and after that an even bigger mistake from him he attacked me with uh, a tiger so he killed my flamer but at the same time I knew he knew my army uh, and so I don't know really why he came here and also he split his army in two so that was another mistake I guess but like this I cannot kill both of them at the same turn so that's not so bad for him uh, and so during this turn I just went from there to, to here and uh, uh, so I I won several battles uh, also yeah no, that was yeah that was this turn that I killed no, that was last turn. I killed one one cadaver. So this turn, wh what I did was this fight, uh, where I qualified three units, and in this fight I, I had a, a reload because I had a crash. Um, then I did this fight. Uh, I had two level up one in each fight, where I qualified uh, two trolls, and I wasn't able to qualify the spider baby and the work because it was uh, a bit dense because I had only six units to, to do this fight and also not the best units like not uh, queen spiders because I had didn't have enough movement points um, and uh, I had also a, a crash in this fight so I had to, to redo it uh, once but it was really the same result and actually first time I didn't finish it because it crashed during the, the fight and then I did this final fight where I goodified almost everyone and uh, with a very big army from me and eventually uh, the big battle again is killed where I killed his leader uh, and every troops and I lost just one troll so that's that's a big loss but it's okay and one cadaver and my my leader actually died during the battle but because of undying he came back so I'm going to show you uh, the details of the fight I think it's especially important so that Everyone can and a skill in, in, in particular can see uh, that the fights were actually quite easy to do, except the one in the ancient twin, but still it was not so bad. Uh, and I didn't cast any spell because I didn't need to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to present you the, the results of the, the detail of the fight. Also during this turn, my outposts, uh, my throne outposts, uh, upgraded into a village, and um, I got. No, I have like 3,250 population thanks to the fight. Um, so it's not very fast because when I play Goblin, for instance, I have like at least 400 every turn. And so turn 8, I'm at uh, also like 
3000 but it's not so bad either um, and also regarding research um, I, I got uh, several several texts already um, like I got um, this perhaps a problem and uh, I'm, I'm researching vampiric hunger um, but I, I'm not yet clear if it's faster or not than when I play other races but at least it's no, the cases, but at least it's uh, as fast, and I think probably faster because usually I don't build any laboratories, uh, and uh, and this day, this game I didn't build any either, and I, I still progressed in research. Um, and yeah, I I've got only twenty casting points left, uh, and I was casting uh, a lost soul. Uh, and I was not able to finish it uh, because of the fight uh, in Yoto where I cast once one spell or cast one spell. So let's see the first fight. It was a pretty easy one with two stacks against four units. Uh, it was a gold mine. And so I did my best to, um, as usual, to play uh, all the ghouls uh, to goodify everyone and then to um, play as much abilities as possible uh, in order to. Uh, to level up with my hero. Uh, so as usual, I, I put my cadavers in front, and uh, and I, I web the units with with uh, the spiders. And yeah, something interesting is that I have um, a dread monkey, and the dread monkey has um, disgusting stench, which decreases resistance. So it's good to uh, increase your chance of uh, grifying or um, inflict, inflict despair. Uh, other stuff. So it doesn't work for the spiders because they attack with physical damage, but it's good for the other stuff. So I just web the units. Uh, I killed the, the hatchling. No, I didn't kill the hatchling yet. Uh, so I killed the hatchling now with um, uh, Deathbringer and uh, I managed to glorify it. I take the movement points out of the crusher because I was not able to uh, web it. Uh, and, and now I'm hitting from from as far as possible to decrease damage um, the, the units in order to uh, uh, inflict despair on it and increase cool, cool curse chances and so my deathbringer is uh, purifying some units uh, and my hero the others so the deathbringer is pretty useful but if actually if I had two heroes I, my, my leader and the hero it would be possible to do that also but I lost it uh, previously due to a mistake for me and uh, a crash in the game. I also in this game, yeah, I already told it's the crash in, in this game. Uh, in this turn, um, yeah. So I put my my dread monkey next to the to the draconian, and so that I increase the damage. And now he has already only eight HP left, and then this birth uh, four times. Disgusted uh, spirit weakness 80%, and so if I attack him, I have like 90% chance of cool curse, and I manage 90 or one, even 100%. Um, so I'm webbing the other one and doing the same stuff, and then uh, uh, before I finish him, I would just reanimate all the units and play all my abilities, and so I le level up in this fight. Um, Basically that's it. So it was very easy fight, no danger, no no any any not any risk involved for me. Um, and then I, the second fight I did was in the ancient ruin, ruins, and it was a bit different because I could only send one stack of units, and uh, as I didn't have enough movement points to attack Eskid on the same turn, so only some units were able to to make it. So not all my spiders, not the trolls. Oh no, the trolls I got after that actually. So not the spiders, uh, not the Deathbringer. So it was not an easy fight, but it was not very dangerous either. So what I did is to, as usual, to split the units, uh, web them, put cadavers in front, uh, inflict blue curse, uh, inflict despair, you know, to inflict blue curse, etc. Um, yeah, so I sent all, most of my units on the, on the east, in the east, and then the, um, uh, raptor that I just go uh, on the west and north to attract um, 
the the, the enemy units and it worked pretty well and actually the, the raptor played a very big part in this fight without it I would have much more difficulties or I would have to play differently because as you can see I didn't cast any spell uh, I could have cast uh, Stephen Limbs but it was not uh, necessary so now I, thanks to energy drain I just uh, drain all the movement points of the spider and um, and she she cannot do anything so that's very useful and I wanted at first I wanted to kill the spider and beautify it because spiders are very useful but uh, I had too much pressure from the from the troll so I wasn't able to do that and I had to kill, kill it so cadaver uh, moves back so that I can uh, web the, the troll but I failed and then I, I drained the remaining movement points with my with my leader and uh, existing fatigue um, but then you will hit the spider once, but it's okay. Um, and uh, uh, yes, yeah, the cadaver is not dead, so I will try to um, hit some stuff with it later. But actually, no, he's dead. But still, he, he prevented the, the work from attacking the from flanking the um, the spider, and I saw it coming. So I put the cadaver here for that. And then I. Um, I'm hit by the troll on the other side, and I will retreat. And the troll uh, will uh, have will not have enough movement points to uh, follow me. And and then that's it because the troll will just follow the raptor, but always be a, a movement a movement late. Uh, and I I can just immobilize it kind of because it, it follows my my raptor. Um, yeah, so my, my spider got killed, but then I can just chain movement points from the from the troll, and uh, I killed the um, the warg, so I didn't have any warg left. And the spider, uh, it it just um, it just uh, whipped my my units, so I have to kill it because it puts too much pressure on me. I have two enemy units. Now I have only one enemy unit, one troll, and the other side I've got the other troll. Uh, which is following my my raptor, so now it's pretty easy, easy. and I just need to uh, drain movement points, inflict despair, and um, and when the troll is at uh, very high uh, spirit weakness, I just kill it. So it killed my my crusher, and maybe it was a mistake for me to, to put it here, but not very important because I can reanimate it. So I panicked him, I ghost here on him, like with 100% chance of, of success, and then. Uh, that gives me time, and also I, uh, I I hit it with planting, and I also had 100% chance of uh, success for a good curse thanks to his weakness, and then I just invoked death on him, and he died also with 100% chance because the, all these attacks check spirit uh, channel. Now I have time to reanimate everyone. I bring back the raptor and uh, cut only one troll, and so I will do the same. Web him. Uh, energy drain, uh, inflict despair, and then just kill it with um, final strike from the from the leader to build curses. So after this fight, I have uh, two um, two two trolls, and I was not able to get the warg and the and the spider because I had a bit too much pressure with with uh, six units against six not very good units against uh, two trolls and one spider. Um, so after this fight, I can I had enough movement points with my leader um, to to move, but not with the spider or the uh, crusher. I, of course, I had enough movement points with the trolls to 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 join the next um, fight because I they had just been qualified. So that's also one thing which is pretty uh, okay from from Necro, is that when you Cool curse the units, you can immediately move them. If I was not able to move them immediately, I would not have been able to attack a skill like this. Yeah, that fight was very, very easy because I had a lot of units. Uh, I forgot, I did one small mistake, but was not very important. Is I didn't uh, dispel the, the flame um, dragon ancestry. I could have with my with my leader, and it would have avoided me some pain on the trolls later on, but not not very important actually. 
Um, yeah, so that fight was not very hard. Boom, then I, I kill it. I actually gold cursed it. I didn't want to s to waste too much time at the beginning. And okay, ghoul curse also. And I just killed the two uh, from the beginning because I wasn't sure. What I didn't want to take much damage because I don't have that much healing. So I, I just killed the range uh, damage first, the hatchling and the and flamer. Um, I position myself with my two spiders. The baby spider is not here because she didn't have enough movement points. So actually the Draconian Elder is doing a lot of damage on uh, trolls. But I know that, but it's always surprised me because trolls are low resistance. Okay, so webbed. Not webbed. The crusher, I do not like to be webbed. I try to disper it a bit and then kill it with my spirit actually. Yeah, here I made a mistake. I wanted to go attack the hatchling. Yeah, didn't curse it. But I, 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 I misclicked and I clicked on the uh, like uh, kind of fence. Okay, so now I just moved to um, decrease the movement points of the of the Draconian Elder and to give me time to come to him with my um, uh, Deathbringer. Same for the hatchling, I, I just remove his movement points. I disper the Draconian Elder and then I kill it with uh, the with, uh, Deathbringer. I wanted to uh, reduce his HP to kill it with the Deathbringer and, and attack it with the uh, Charger, but actually I realized I could just backstab it, uh, flank it with, uh, with uh, Deathbringer thanks to um, Shadow Step. Yeah, then so now I have two units left. Uh, inflict this burn on them. Yeah, Guardian got by flame to uh, XP a bit on the on the dwarf, but I actually I didn't need uh, healing on my hero. I reduced my HP to my movement points to just hit one time with my hero, and then I, I kill it with uh, with the Deathbringer, and then only one unit left, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty easy. So. And of course, as usual, I, I reanimate everyone. That's it. And so last fight is a big fight uh, against it, so it's auto-combat, but let's have uh, a look at it to see how it went. Um, so of course I didn't have any control on it because it was auto-combat. So I didn't... I don't think I'd made any mistake on, on the positioning on that fight. Even though I, I lost one of my of my troll, but I don't know. Maybe I could have avoided it. Uh, not 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 very easy to avoid it. The um, lost soul actually did a lot of damage to the troll, to their uh, uh, frost and spirit damage channels. So th this is a skill moving. So as you can see, I have. One army here, one army here, one army here, and he's in the middle. Okay, the troll is moving. Bomb. Okay, one unit dead. Two units dead. Thanks to the draft. But it will come back as it's a lost soul with undying. Then, uh, yeah, I, 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 I snucked uh, Rotar, the enemy leader, with a spell, Death Ray. And then I attacked it with uh, uh, the flamer. Actually, the computer attacked it through auto combat. I move, I move. The spider is not yet fast enough to arrive in the combat. I have all my uh, army here moving in this direction. Okay, no rotor is moving again, so he's killed with his first dragon in flamer. And then <coughs> Eagle Rider that he raised from the dead from my army. And actually he kills my leader. Uh, but I haven't dying. So I will come back. So it was nice to take and I didn't control my undead. It was nice to have undying just like one turn before. And then he kills my 
my drone uh, here. Ah oh, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Through um, a combination of uh, lost soul, oh my kill radar, lost soul. I think it's um, not a personalized leader. I think it's a leader from from the game. Yeah, so I kill most of them, web the flyer, and that that that's that's over. Yeah, and my troll actually got flanked when moving, so it's just so stupid and lost uh, 15 HP just for this. Not very useful. Uh, yeah, the spider didn't do anything in this fight. So everyone is here, and this unit didn't do much. But they were not needed, right? Let's pass forward. Yes, a lot of reappeared, and yeah, it, it killed my my group, my control. Okay, and, and then that's it. So I come back from the dead. The end, the cliffhanger. And I killed re the remaining units, and I was not able to uh, reanimate anyone because when you come back from undying, you don't have any, don't have any skills uh, activated. They are just, they are all considered to have been used. Okay. So that's it for this. Uh, it was pretty long and then next time I will try to get to his run and maybe kill him. We'll see. Bye bye.